My name is Ruth Hollows, and I'm one of the youngest daughters of Fred Hollows. My twin sister, Rosa and I, were only three when Dad died, but all our lives we've grown up hearing stories about him and his work. So when we travelled to Nepal last year to see Dad's work up close at one of the remote eye camps, it was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. Every year, hundreds of Nepalese come to the beautiful Pulahari Monastery for the eye camp. They travel for hours and sometimes days for the cataract surgery they desperately need. One of those people was Lakpa. He had been blind in both eyes due to cataracts for around four years. His wife had died three years ago and he had told us. When my wife died, I was blind. I cried a lot because I couldn't see her when she passed away. It was really special to watch Dr. Awi, who, together with Dad, brought modern cataract surgery to the developing world to operate on people like Lakpa. For Rosa and I, seeing the patches taken off was just so special. And as the first people had their patches taken off, they began laughing. <laughs> the transformation in people when they realise they can see again is incredible. When Lakpa's patches came off, he couldn't stop staring at the colourful painting on the monastery ceiling. He was beaming from ear to ear. His whole face changed. He told us, It was like I got my second life. I wanted to see my land, my grandchildren and my family. I can't describe it. I'm so happy. I have my independence back. Something that still shocks me is that four out of five people who are blind don't need to be. Thank you for being a part of Dad's legacy and being a part of the story of the Fred Hollows Foundation. I hope we can count on your continued support. <laughs>